What in the world is going on in here? Is this a clothing store? I guess I'll check it out. Hello? Anyone here? Hello. Can I help you? Hi. I, I was walking by and I noticed your store here. Are you hiring by chance? Oh, I thought you were looking to buy something. You are looking for a job. Yes, well, I have some fashion design training and I've also worked in customer service. I'm not hiring right now, no. <sighs> I understand. I did notice, though, that your front window is in need of a little uplifting. Ah, I'm too busy taking care of my sick mother to be doing a lot here, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I also had a sick father once. But, um, that means you're missing out on the opportunity to bring in foot traffic. A nice window display can pique the interest of people passing your storefront. I've told you already, I'm not hiring. Wait, are you going to buy something? Listen, I just think you have really great inventory in here. I think you could merchandise it a little better though. Can you let me just do it this one time? What part of no do you not get? It's just that your mannequins are, well, naked. And your shoe display is a mess. And these purses here are all over the place. I know this. I told you I've been too busy and I can't afford to hire any help. Could you at least let me just put clothes on the mannequins and maybe tidy up a bit in here? You don't have to pay me anything. Well, in that case, be my guest. Wow. You weren't kidding. Everything looks very good. Thank you. And I love how you styled the mannequins. I'm impressed. But no job. That's okay. I had extra time today anyway. Is this still Winifred's threads? Oh, hello. Yes, I am Winifred. Oh, things look so different in the window that I thought it was new management. Hmm. Do you mean to say you came in because of the display? Yes, I wanted to find something I can wear to a job interview. I liked what I saw in the window. If you don't mind me asking, what are you interviewing for? Well, I'm dusting off my business degree and going back to corporate America. It's an entry-level marketing position. That's exciting. Not really. Now that I'm a single mom, I have to work. I don't have much of a choice but to start over. Well, marketing is a great field. You'll want something you feel confident in, something that also signals that you're a standout. Because after all, you don't want to blend in when you're on the marketing team. Can I just buy what that mannequin is wearing? Uh, you could, but I don't think that's your size. Can I try it on anyway? Of course, let me get it for you. Yeah, we're right. Couldn't even squeeze my legs into the pants. Guess I need to lose 20 pounds. Sure look good on the mannequin, though. Do you mind if I suggest a few things for you? Be my guest. I think these would look great on you. Hmm. Just keep an open mind. Try them on. Ooh, yeah, we're right. I didn't realize this would be so flattering. But you sure sequins are okay? I mean, you're in marketing, not accounting. All right, sold. I'm gonna take this outfit. Great decision. You look amazing in it. Do you work here? Actually, no. Yes. Yes, she does. Huh? She starts tomorrow. I do? Uh, okay. Uh, I do work here. I guess this was kind of my job interview. You'll want to keep her. She's a gym. Yes, I'm beginning to see that. Can we step over there for a moment? Oh, uh, sure. Following you. Can you work weekends? Absolutely. I'll pay you $16 an hour, plus 10% on any clothing and accessories you sell. Can you make that 15%? What? I plan to sell a lot. 
You're asking for more money before you even start? Fine, you're hired. Thank you, thank you. You will not regret this. Thank you so much, Winifred. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, oh yes. Um,、uh, my name is Liz. Liz Bo. Okay, bye. Bye for real this time. Oh, hi, cat. I heard Troy asked you to the dance. <laughs> Good afternoon to you too, cat. Answer the question. Yes, he did. I heard you said yes. Yep, I did. <sighs> How could you? You've known I've had a crush on him for years. He doesn't like you, Cat. You made sure of that yourself when you locked me in my locker. You didn't even have the decency to tell me yourself. I had to hear it from Loreen. <sighs> I was going to tell you, Cat. I just didn't want to have another fight right now. Do you even like him, <sighs> Cat? <clears throat> you know, surprisingly, I do. I'm not just going to the dance with him to piss you off. I wouldn't do that. I hate you, Mary. I will hate you forever and ever. I never want to see you again. I know I should feel bad right now, but I don't.